So I'm, I'm sure that as part of your role, you get lots of questions from your clients around this topic of migration. Um, what are some typically the other top concerns you get when you have these conversations? So, um, you know, migration, there are a lot of different aspects to it. And, and again, you, you know, kind of having almost 30 years of, of kind of experience, I've lived through a number of these different sea changes, so to speak, right? I, I mean, I'm, again, a little horrified to admit this out loud, but uh, I actually started my career as a mainframe programmer, right? So so we went from mainframes to client server. I was kind of at the vanguard of, of client server and especially on the networking side of that. That kind of gave way to this information superhighway thing, uh, right? Which turned out obviously to be the internet um, and then internet type applications, three-tier applications, obviously, you know, kind of a number of, of different uh, office automation capabilities. So what we've seen over decades is this constant evolution, constant migration to something new, right? And part of that is just the industry machinery that, you know, kind of wants to force you to upgrade and, you know, kind of planned obsolescence is a thing, right? I mean, I start to break into hives when I've had the same device for, you know, two or three years uh, at this point, right? So I've got to upgrade that. Uh, and, and that's kind of how the whole business continues to move. But right now, where we're at right now and, and, and where we've been for the last probably five years is something I hadn't seen before, right? We have evolution and migration happening really on all fronts. Right? You know, we, we went from these huge on-prem, you know, kind of office automation and 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 back office type applications, our CRM, our, our uh, you know, general ledger, a lot of the accounting stuff, all of that has moved to SaaS, right? So now I've got data in SaaS. So that's a huge change, right? I don't have to deal with a lot of the operational things, but my data is out there, Right. Then we, on the other hand, we, we're taking our data centers and we're moving them gradually to a public cloud type of platform. Right. So that involves a whole bunch of other, again, more data going outside of our control, but really forcing us to think a lot about systemizing and operationalizing. We talked about efficiency, right? The efficiency of how it is that we're going to manage many of those processes. And if that wasn't enough, we're totally changing how we build applications, right? So there's this thing called DevOps that many of you may have heard of, right? But it's this idea that we're going to, you know, really enumerate software eats everything, as Mark uh, Andreessen said. Um, so, you know, we've got everything kind of uh, really described in, in code in some way, shape or form that's run through a pipeline and we can integrate security testing. Um, but, you know, the fact is now we're totally changing how we build technology. So what we have are these three huge evolutions happening and migrations happening all at the same time. And security professionals are sitting there going, okay, I kind of know one thing and that's, I don't know where my data is, right? I don't know where my data is. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, then as you kind of alluded to before, Bill, right? We're having this little issue called a microbe, right? Pandemic. You know, so where we used to be able to say, well, I'll build a moat around my distribution center, I'll build a moat around my office and, and bad people can't get in and, you know, the right stuff gets out. Well, now we have everybody all over the place. I'm in my basement, you're in your, your basement. I'm sure most of the people living uh, or listening to this are in their basement in some way, shape or form or their home office uh, or something like that. So now not only do we not know where our data is, we don't know where our users are. Right. So all this means it's a very, very complicated environment. Right. So a lot of the questions that we get are, how do I track my data? Right. As it's moving both to public cloud as well as SaaS. How do I maintain some integrity over that? How do I deal with identity continues to be a huge issue and attackers haven't stopped. Right. So so what we have are attackers doing attacky type things. Right. Folks trying to figure out how they're supposed to detect these uh, actions. And then how do we actually remediate these things when we can't go down to the second floor data center and start messing around with stuff? Because it's either in public cloud or SaaS and my user devices are not here. Right. So it's a pretty complicated environment. So well, I wish I could distill it down. I'm like, oh, hey, here are the three questions. I, I you know, if I answer these three questions, you're good. Uh, right. What it is, is it's it's an onion. And the more you peel off of that onion, the more you realize that what we're really doing is we're totally changing how technology happens. Right. We're totally changing from the time we build it to how we deploy it to how we manage our, our businesses. Um, everything is really kind of up in the air 
right now. And, you know, for guys like me who don't actually have to do this, right, I just sit and commentate about it, right, and I help folks understand it. This is great, right? I mean, oh, it, I, there's something new to read every day, right? There's something exciting to get involved with every day. Um, for those that are doing it, it uh, there's just a lot of people who are like, eh, because you just don't know, right? You just don't know what tomorrow is, is going to hold. And for some folks, that's exciting. And for a lot of folks, it scares the crap out of them. Thanks for watching. Join us next time for part two.